Everybody wants to learn and master machine learning in 2024, but finding the time and the resources can be difficult, especially as a full-time student. That's why I created my very own five-part roadmap to learn ML as a data science student. I've received numerous tech-focused internships, have worked hand-in-hand -hand with ML engineers, and have published research on the topic. And today I'm going to give you a rundown of the methods I use to learn ML. Now, the first step is deciding what to learn. One of the hardest parts of mastering any skill is actually deciding what to learn. This is especially true for machine learning because it's such a big field and encompasses so many topics like GIS, NLP, and logistic regression. So what I find helpful is to come up with the end goal at the beginning and that will inform your journey along the way. For example, if my end goal is to become a researcher at Facebook, I should study computer vision algorithms because that's what they value and is most likely to help me attain that goal. Simply put, your dream is in reach, you just need to decide exactly what that dream looks like. So I find it helpful to ask myself these three questions when trying to decide my end goal. First, why do I want to learn machine learning? Two, what do I hope to accomplish once I learn machine learning? And three, what is the one thing that I find absolutely fascinating that machine learning can do? Taking time to answer these questions will give you some clarity on what you actually want out of this process and make sure you don't veer off the path so far that you end up in Narnia. So after taking some time to thoughtfully answer these questions and gaining clarity on what you actually want to do with ML, now we can move on to step two. So step two is figuring out how to learn. Coming up with your what is challenging. And unfortunately, coming up with your how isn't much easier. To illustrate what to do next, I'll use myself as an example. So my end goal was to become a data science intern at Duolingo. So I identified the five most important skills I needed to learn in order to accomplish that. To figure out these five skills, I went to the job posting that I wanted and right there in the desired qualifications, it listed them out pretty obviously. So specifically for this position, it was statistics, Python, R, communication, and big data technologies like Hadoop. Now obviously these massive skills can't just be learned overnight. It's important to split them up. And when splitting them up, I like to group them into three categories, which I like to call the three eyes of machine learning. Number one is intuition. This is the algorithmic design and the mathematics behind data science. Number two is implementation. This is where most of the programming in ML come into play. And number three is interpretation. This is evaluating models, coming up with visualizations, and communicating the results of your model to your stakeholders. Knowing which of these three I categories your five skills fall into will help you find the right resources and approach to learning them. Following this, after identifying my top five skills, I broke each one into three sub-skills that I could learn in a more digestible manner. For example, if the skill you're trying to learn is classification, you can break it down to the three sub-skills of classification model types, programming in Python, and model evaluation for classification like precision or recall. Now, if you're unsure how to break up your five skills into your three sub-skills, there's two main ways you can go about this. First is just asking a professional or maybe your professor. They probably have some great insight into how you can do this. Another great solution that I personally have used is just asking ChatGPT to break up your skill into three sub-skills to learn. It actually works great. To be honest, using ML to learn ML is one of my favorite things in 2024. But anyways, once you finish up that, we can move on to step three. So step three is actually learning these five big skills and the sub-skills that go along with them. Now, assuming that your university isn't teaching you these skills, my favorite way to learn them outside of the classroom are through resources such as Udemy, YouTube, or books. You can find everything you need to learn ML online if you know the right place to look. So I personally used Udemy and Medium to learn data science. Medium comes at a subscription of around $50 a year, but it's an online blog for data science and it contains tons of useful articles. I also bought the personal plan for Udemy, which was around $200 a year, but the payoff is absolutely worth it because you can have thousands of data science courses right at your fingertips. However, if you don't want to shell out the cash for these paid resources, there's also some great free resources out there. The first obvious one is YouTube. You can find tons of great YouTube tutorials out there. The second is the 100 page machine learning textbook by Burkov. This is a free online textbook that will give you the fundamentals of machine learning. And the third and probably most popular one is Andrew Ang's free online Coursera course on machine learning. So go through these resources, take notes, try teaching them to a friend. You wanna treat learning these skills like you would preparing for an exam. 
It's gonna take some time, but I found that by setting aside a consistent time schedule each day to practice these skills, I was able to learn them over time. And once you get a really solid grasp on your five main skills and sub skills, now we can move on to the fun part. So step four is implementing these skills to apply what you learned. Now, in order to remember what I learned, I personally find it really important to actually practice what I do. Like if I just listen to a lecture, but I don't actively engage in the content, it'll go straight through my brain and I won't remember a thing. So what I found is that a great way to practice what you've learned in ML is to pick three projects to build that use your skills and subskills. And this had a twofold benefit for me. First, I practiced my skills and implemented what I learned to cement my knowledge. But two, I now had a project portfolio that demonstrated my skills that I could show to employers to help me achieve my end goal. Now, picking your exact ML projects to practice your skills can be tricky, but it's not super hard. I just use ChatGPT again to ask for fun project ideas using the skills I want to learn. Or you can literally just Google machine learning projects that use blank skill, and you'll probably find some great ideas for inspiration. And the good news is, is that there's tons of resources out there for free online data sets. You can go to the UCI Machine Learning Repository, sites like Kaggle.com, the US Census Bureau, NASA, or Google Dataset Search. After coming up with your projects and obtaining your data, now it's time to actually put rubber to the road and build some projects. And it is going to be difficult. Oftentimes you're going to get stuck and not know what to do, but it's super important that you keep going and keep pushing through that discomfort. If you do get stuck, which I know I personally did a lot, I found it really helpful to just step away for a day or two and then come back to it with fresh eyes. And then I was almost magically able to overcome the roadblock. And also you don't have to suffer through this alone. You can go to online machine learning forums on Reddit and Kaggle and ask questions and get support from a community who will help you through your problems and help you get past any obstacle you might encounter. This definitely is the most difficult part of the process, but by working through these projects, you're really gonna cement your skills and help you achieve your end goal. Which brings us to the last step of the process, which is fulfilling the end goal. Now, remembering why you wanted to learn machine learning in the first place is go to inform where you go from here after you build your projects. After learning my skills and building my portfolio, I put them on a website called jacobmaz.com, which I'll link down below to showcase to employers. Now, I'm a junior in college and I haven't graduated yet, so I'm not necessarily looking to gain employment just yet. So for me, it was more important to just get the experience. But if you are looking to gain employment, after you build your portfolio, you can start sending out those resumes and start reaching out to people to achieve what you want. It all depends on what you identified all the way back in step one. If you wanna launch an AI business that helps you with your taxes, go right ahead. If you wanna apply for that researcher position at Google that you've always dreamed of, you now have the skills and experience to make it happen. I can't guarantee you that you will achieve everything that you want, but by following these steps, I've personally been able to achieve a lot of my goals in ML, and I found it's a really useful tool in learning what I need to. I truly believe that anybody can learn ML by following this framework. So let's have a quick recap before we end. First, identify why you want to learn machine learning and come up with the five skills that you need to learn to achieve that goal. Then split those five main skills into three subskills each so that you can more easily learn them and digest them. Then you wanna to go to online resources such as udemy.com or YouTube to actually learn those skills. After you learn the skills, you can start by picking three projects that utilize those skills and build an online machine learning portfolio. After this, you should have cemented your knowledge and then you can choose where to go from there based on your end goal. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any specific questions about things I did to learn ML, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them and have a discussion. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.